the show! I'm Wolfie Bane, your host for today, and we are back doing another very, very biased, once I, uh, once again, another very, very biased Pokemon type tier list today. How dare you, fantastic day, fantastic day, fantastic giving in a fantastic life right now. Everyone, I'm back. I'm here, I'm ready to play some video games, or talk about some video games in this particular case. How dare you. Uh, first, a couple of announcements. Uh, one, I uh, just want to say Soul Frame is really, really fucking good. I can't really talk much about it, uh, but I did get into the uh, closed beta. For Soul Frame, it's fucking glorious. It is an amazingly good game. So, it's in early stages, but it's really, really fun. And uh, I highly recommend, I believe they're actually doing another wave of beta invites on Wednesday. So, go on the Soul Frame site and sign up. I can highly recommend it. It's early. But it's really fun, everything I've done and played in so far, and I've done eight hours, I want to say, about eight hours. It's really good. Um, made by the Warframe devs, so anyone who's played Warframe knows that they love their games a lot, and yeah, it's, it's good. It's really good. Uh, second of all, there will not be a stream on this channel on either Friday or Monday next week. Uh, there will not be a type tier list next Monday because um, I'm in a field. <laughs> I am away next Monday. Uh, next Tuesday should be fine, but next Monday I will not be in a state to talk. Uh, to, to to talk. Well, I will be in a state to talk. Hopefully, I uh, won't be in a state to stream. Basically, next Monday. So uh, you will have to wait for the next type tier list after this one to be in two weeks. Uh, because it is a lot week, so for me, I am not allowed spicy food. A couple of my streams will be shorter. I've got to do packing and bits and pieces. But this is the last LARP week of the year. So there is that. I haven't got any others planned as far as I'm aware. So we'll see how it goes. But it all should be just good all round, right? Hmm. But yes, we are doing... Now that we've finished this announcement, we are doing the rock type tier list. I thought it was only fair after the last week's stream of doing the dinosaurs only monotype team on uh, on Pokemon Showdown. I'm actually thinking of doing a dino only or dinosaur theme Pokemon only Pokemon uh, Rogue Run, which might be the rest of this week. So it should be a fun time. We have not finished our Pathfinder game yet. Uh, I don't know if it's actually running this week, though, because it is definitely the last session next in Pathfinder. And um, one of our players just isn't able to make it. So we can't really have one player miss out on the finale. Because that feels kind of shitty. So I don't know what's happening this Wednesday. I'm sure it'll be talked about uh, in the next couple of days. So I will let y'all know. There might be a longer stream on Wednesday. There might not be. <laughs> we don't know. Uh, but because the uh, Pathfinder game has been kind of stretched out a bit, um, we'll see on if there's actually going to be a gap. Um, where I can have a couple of streams for longer on Wednesdays. We'll, we'll see. Uh, but yeah. Anyway. So, as doing the rock type tier list, I felt it was only fair to do rock and roll songs as the tiers. Now, I will 100% say none of these rock songs are in any favor order. I adore all five of these songs. Uh, smoke S is Smoke on the Water. That's the other one you're getting. Uh, but I love that song. One of the best guitarists of all time. I love the Ace of Spades. So A is Ace of Spades, as it has to be. It's a really, really good one. Uh, B is Back in Black. Another fantastic song. Uh, C is Chelsea Dagger, which I'm pretty sure counts as rock, right? Uh, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure it's rock. Oh, another really good song. Great dancing song. If you want to do like anthem dancing, that's Chelsea Dagger's a good one. And then, Dirty Deeds, Dunder Cheap. Another fantastic song. So yeah, those are my tiers. Uh, obviously, S to D. If you haven't seen any of the... Uh, all the type tier lists I've done on this channel. Um, how? First of all, they've been Mondays for a very long time. Uh, they're all on my YouTube channel. This will be uploaded... This will be uploaded next Monday. 
um, at some point. It might be uploaded next Tuesday, depending on how knackered I am next Monday. But um, this this will be getting uploaded uh, next week. Uh, and all the others are on my YouTube channel. Check, check them out. It's uh, literally just Wolfie Bane on YouTube. W-O-L-F-I-E-B-A-N-E. Uh, there is a link in the uh, links section. There's like a link to my, uh, I believe there's a link to my Twitter. Oh, no, my X, sorry, not Twitter, X. And uh, I will never get used to that. I'll be, I'll be in my late 50s and still call it Twitter, probably. Um, and uh, not at all, just don't d disregard the fact that there's a link to Twitter on top. Uh, I always got through to Twitter on that page. Uh, and there is a link to my YouTube channel there, and all the other ones are on there. They're a good time. I had a good laugh making all of these. Uh, even the flying type one, which did come out in two parts. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a big fan of rock types. People know I love rock types. Um, this rock type is a weird one for me. I'm not a huge fan of the type. I will get that out of the way right here and now. Rock is not one of my favorite types as a type. However, there are so many rock Pokemon that I absolutely love. Uh, I always like. I used to be a fan of rocks um, as a kid. I have like, I had geodes. I have fossils. I have loads of them. I was a paleontology and geologist nerd when I was a kid. Uh, particularly paleontology. I've always been a big fan. I've always been a big fan. Uh, I love my dinosaurs. What can I say? And rock type has a lot of dinomon. Basically, uh, is a lot of dinosaur themed Pokemon, which I'm always a big fan of. Is a lot of fossil themed Pokemon, and they're all like big, solid powerful in their own ways. A lot of them are weird and jank, and a lot of them aren't very good, but they're all really fun to use. And I will say, rock is a weird one because of how the type works. This is the big thing. People look at rock type and go, must be defensive. It's a rock. Rock's known to be tough. Rock is one of the worst defensive types in the entirety of Pokemon. I will just statement that. That is a fact. It is one of, not the worst, but one of the worst defensive types in Pokemon. However, Rock is one of the best offensive types. So offensive Rock types are actually really, really solid. People really underestimate them, particularly because a lot of defensive Rock types... Well, a lot of offensive Rock types... The Rock makes them good against the types... That are also offensive. It's weird. It's a... The the types that usually can, like, outspeed something or outpower a rock type because of type diversity, a lot of them actually end up being kind of slow. Not in every case. Absolutely not in every case. But a lot of them end up being kind of slow. So offensive rock types actually end up doing some da usually doing some damage. And even the most offensively focused rock type actually has an okay defensive stat line. Like, the stats of rock types are quite good. And they tend to have very good physical defense, just outright. Uh, like my boy, everyone knows, one of my favorite rock types, one of my two favorite rock types of all time, Tarantrum. We will be getting a very good score later. Uh, I love to run offensive Tarantrum, and people actually have a hard time dealing with it because it's got a fucking 120 defense stat, I'm pretty sure. Like, 110, 120. Like, it's got a very, very solid defense stat. For an offensive Pokemon. So it really can sleeper hit some people. Uh, same with like Aerodactyl and a bunch of others. They are... They are underestimate. Oh, rock type is an underestimated type. You need to know how to run it. But it can be very, very good. If you know how to run it. Rock type can... As it... Rock can be good. Not saying it's the best type Pokemon. It's one of the worst. But... It can be good. You need to know how it works. And that is the key. Uh, I don't consider myself one of the best rock type players ever. I consider myself probably above the average for using rock types. But I am not even close to being one of the best. Uh, I use a lot of rock types in particularly weird ways. Which a lot of people go, why would you do that? Uh, so, yeah. Just as a heads up. But, anyway... Let's get on with this, shall we? So, we're starting off with a very, very cute mon. Though I will... I've always said, if you saw the fire type tier list, I am not the biggest fan of Hisuian Growlithe. Hisuian Growlithe is fine. I like the doggo. It is a nice doggo. But I'm only going to put it in B tier. So here's the bit. I love this Pokemon. 
but not in this form. Uh, I love Arcanine. Arcanine is amazing. Uh, I love Growlithe. Regular Growlithe is really, really cute. I find this version of Growlithe less cute than the regular one. Uh, but I still like it. It's a good Pokemon. However, the stealer of the show with this Pokemon, easily the stealer of the show, is Arcanine. Hisui and Arcanine is one of my favorite rock types. You'll be hearing that a lot. I have a lot of favorite rock types. Uh, it is one of my absolute favorites. Um, loved using this. This was on my original, uh, after the draft league team, this was on my original um, first competitive team that wasn't in the draft league. And I wanted to get this thing for the draft league. I genuinely did. But someone picked regular Arcanine out from under me. So I wasn't able to get it. Because I really would have liked this Wii and Arcanine for my draft league team. Because it's very, very good. If you run it a certain way. Hey, Ivory, how you doing? But yeah, I love his Wii and Arcanine. Fantastic Pokemon. Again, offensive rock type. Offensive rock type, it's great. Fire rock is terrible on defense. It's awful. It's quad weak to ground. It's quad weak to water. It just gets obliterated on the defense. Make some channel point redeems. <laughs> there's a few of the default ones. And there's the uh, emoji one. And the edit emoji one, I think, as well. But yeah, love this thing. Also, Rockhead Flare Blitz. Stab Rockhead Flare Blitz. Boom. Also, uh, Rockhead Head Smash. You'll find a lot of my... A lot of my favorite rock types get... Hey, bully you. Hey, he's bigger. But yeah, I love his win Arcanine. It's awesome. <laughs> okay. Geodude. The OG rock type... Because, let's face it, his win Arcanine came out later. His win Growlithe, his win Arcanine came out later. Now, Geodude and Lowland Geodude. I kind of got to write these together. My god. I I have a soft spot for Geodude. It's shite. I will 100% say Geodude is awful. The entire line does nothing well. Well, actually, no. It's, it's kind of okay physical world. It has an okay physical attack. But let's face it. The entire Judo line sucks so bad. It's so awful. They even made a Lowland Golem. They made the updated Golem. It still dies in one hit to anything because it's got a quad weakness. Omega oh, Era is going in one of the top tiers. Yeah, don't don't worry. You're safe on that one. I love Mega Aerodactyl. You know, I love my dinosaurs, and every dinosaur or Ter Terradon in that case is going to get a good score. Uh, but yeah, Geodude sucks. I can't give it a good score. But I'll put both of them in Chelsea Dagger. C tier. They gotta go in C tier. It's cool, but it sucks. It Same with Grab. You know what? I'm actually just gonna do just beat this immediately. The entire line of Geodude Golem, uh, Turkish Barber Golem is my favorite. But it sucks. It It's so bad a Pokemon. It's got almost nothing going for it. Scarf, Explosion, Terra Electric. Yeah, that's a, that's Alolan Geodude, Alolan Golem's thing. But the problem is, it's got like five speed. I also don't think, is it the highest in the game? I thought Shuckle still had it. I thought it was close, but I thought Shuckle, uh... I thought Shuckle could still do it. You could use Trick Room. But it's got 25 speed. And still, it just isn't good. I don't like. I don't write, rate a Pokemon good if it's got a really, really powerful option which kills itself. Okay, I don't like suicide tactics at all. And I'm also not a fan of Trick Room. I know Trick Room is good. I don't like using it. I can't give these a good score. They're getting C. They're kind of lucky they don't get D because honestly, I kind of like Golem and oh, Golem and Golem's design. I, I kind of I kind of vibe with it a little bit. Scarf Hyper Beam user. Exactly! I'd rather use Scarf Hyper Beam than Scarf Explosion Goal. I just I don't like it. It's also easy to swap in on. Because of that. You see a golem, there's like two things it's gonna do. It's either gonna rocks or it's gonna blow up. If it's a lowland golem, you swap in a ground type. If it's regular golem, you swap in a ghost type. If you want to swap in on either of them, you swap in Golurk. <laughs> Alright. 
<laughs> you can literally swap in a Golurk and immune to this entire Pokemon in both its forms. It's not good. Onyx, you also have very little going for you. Onyx, okay. I have had this personal beef with Onyx forever. Steelix is really cool, I will say. Do not get, I, I, I have come around on Steelix, uh, after using it in my monotype, my monotype run, uh, for Pokemon Mo. Genuinely, Steelix, really fucking good. Um, I actually needed to get a good Steelix. That was, that was 100%. Every Steelix I had previously was bad because I hadn't gotten amazing Steelix. The Steelix I got in that monotype run was godly. So, yeah, love Steelix. Onyx, however, now, let me, let me, let me just come through here. Onyx. Why the fuck do you have an absurdly high speed for no reason? It's got like 80 speed or something insane. It's actually quite quick. Onyx. Let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look at Onyx's stat line. Because Onyx's stat line is the reason why it's weird. Okay, 70. Onyx has 70 speed. 70. For 5k channel points. Um, I could go. Thank you for watching a lot. Enough to get 5k channel points. Thumbs up. Chug a liter of water. No. I've actually not got that many. Have I got a liter of water with me? I do actually have a liter of water with me. But no. Yeah. I don't really have anything crazy on it. Chug. No. 5k in real life? I'll, for 5k actual money? Yes. I will chug a... I'll fucking chug an entire bottle of water. I think I've got two liters. Yeah. If you give me 5k in... If you, if 5k, not channel points. This is pounds. I'll chug this bottle. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> or almost die. But yeah, okay. So Onyx. Let's get back to Onyx. To be honest, I'd chug, uh... You know what? I'd actually chug this for a tier 3 sub. Genuinely. One tier 3 subscription. And I would, and I would, uh, chug it. Uh, I have low standards. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, don't do it for channel points. Get emotes. <gasps> they also cost money! I'm also broke! I have one. But yeah, Onyx. So Onyx, here's the thing. Onyx has 70 speed. Why? Why does Onyx have 70 speed? It, it shouldn't. It really should not have 70 speed. Okay, let's be really clear about this. Steelix, I think, has 20. Not kidding. Steelix has a very, very low speed. I get to you where Steelix. Steelix has 30. Steelix has 30 speed. Onyx has 70. 70. Why does Onyx have 70 speed? It makes no sense. But you know another thing? Onyx has... How much... Actually, how much attack do you think Onyx has? Without looking it up. Off the cuff, how much attack stat do you think Onyx... Giant rock snake. You'd assume pretty hefty attack stat, right? Close. 45. Onyx has a lower attack stat than Caterpie. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's lower than Sentra. It's so bad. Yeah. Oh, she doesn't have a mellow chemi. What? They're as lower than a bug. I don't remember which bug. But there's like a famously weird bug. Yeah, Onyx has 45 attack and 70 speed. Hundred defense, like fair enough. Hundred defense, that makes sense. Why does it have such terrible attack? It's an odd. Look at it. It's like a thirty foot rock snake. It should have like, give it at least sixty attack. Like, come on. Yeah, exactly. Body press only, and it's got a terrible typing because ground rock is rock ground is a terrible typing. Yeah, it's really bad. Uh, you're getting C tier onyx. You're higher than Golem, I'll give you that. But you're not good. Steelix, amazing. I think Steelix gets uh, A tier usually from me. I really like Steelix. Uh, but Onyx, no. Cool design, that's all you got going for you. 
Yeah, one low sweep, dead. Uh, one, one water gun, it's dead. It's got no special defense either, by the way. Onyx has 45 special defense. It will die to a single special move. Grass not obliterate. You do not even need grass not a freaking vine whipple one shot it. <laughs> Absorb will one shot Onyx. It is tragic. Oh. Rhyhorn though. I love Rhyhorn. I, I like the entire Rhyhorn line. If they, they were my OG ground types back in the day. Um, I'm very happy that they made Rhyperia. Because I love Rhyperia as well. But yeah. Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn's getting A tier. I love Rhyhorn. Tip pretty much is close to that. It looks at water and explodes. Same with Rhyhorn, to be fair. But Rhyhorn is is a, is a little Pokemon. It's the first stage evolution. It's allowed to be kind of meh. Yeah, also, I think Rhyhorn actually has pretty good attack and defense. Like, I think it's actually okay. Uh, no special defense at all, and it's slow as dirt. But it's a, it's a rock Rhino. Yeah, Rhyhorn's usable. Uh, everything. It doesn't. Specs Water Spout does not kill Cridilly. Because Cridilly gets Storm Drain. <laughs> uh, yeah. If you get Specs Water Spout with Mole Breaker for some randomizer shit, then yeah, that absolutely kills everything on this list, though. Actually, to be honest, it, a lot of things on this list do have sturdy. Well, that's actually something. Rock types do get a lot of sturdy, and sturdy is pretty fun ability. Not one of my favorites. I prefer other abilities, but sturdy is very good. Uh, and can really clutch up if need be. Uh, but yeah, also, Rhydon. I love Rhydon. Um, was, I think, my OG... Uh, I think Rhydon was on my original Elite Four team. Genuinely. I love this thing. Uh... I didn't get enough chance to use it uh, back in the day because I think I caught one on Victory Road, genuinely. Yes, it was the first ever Pokemon designed. It was the concept Pokemon. And I think you can tell, but I think they nailed it. Rhydon is a really, really good design for a Pokemon. It's a really cool Pokemon. Giovanni's Ace as well, which is also a props to it. Ah, uh, Rhydon's great. Rhydon is a great Pokemon. So yeah, big big props to it. E comfortable A tiers. Comfortable A's. Praise Lord Helix! You know Amistar's gotta get a good spot just for the meme. I'm gonna put him in A tier. I'm not gonna put him in the S tier, but I, I like um I like I I obviously like um Omanite. Omanite is cool. I really liked um fuck what they called the animal. Omanites. I liked Omanites as a kid. I actually had an Omanite as a kid. Not a real one. Uh, but a fossil of one. I didn't have an alive prehistoric creature. Sadly. Would have loved it. But I had a uh, Omanite fossil. Not an Omanite. An Omanite fossil as a kid. I've always had a soft spot for it. Omastar, I'm less all about. Like, it's kind of cool, right? Uh, it's definitely getting a beat here. I'd say. It's still pretty cool. But I like I like Helix more. Uh, but, for my fossils, I'm gonna be honest, I picked the horseshoe crab originally. Kabuto and Kabutops, I love both of them. Uh, Kabuto uh, probably goes above Lord Helix, and Kabutops goes high A tier. Kabutops SP, respect. I absolutely get it. Um, was my fossil for, uh, of the two in Gen 1, I, I will 100% say, I love this thing. Pretty bad, but you it, you can make it work. It takes a bit to make it work, but you can make it work. It's good on rain, uh, which I don't like running rain, which is one of the main problems. But it you can definitely make it work. It's got pretty good defense stat, pretty good attack stat, okay speed, and uh, swift swim. You can make this thing work. Yeah, it's a pure stock Scyther. Scyther's great, so I like it. It's cool Pokemon. It's based on a sea scorpion. Which is also cool. I love it. Aerodactyl. Hmm. I'm just looking at the rest of the tier list. 
because I want to know if I put Aerodactyl in A tier or S tier. It's very, it's good either way, but it's either a like middling S tier or a very high A tier. I'm just deciding. I think it's S tier. I think I like Aerodactyl and Mega Aerodactyl enough to make them both S tier. I like Mega Aerodactyl. Actually, I like, I like Mega Aerodactyl to use more than Aerodactyl, but I like its design slightly less. I love Mega Aerodactyl's tough claws, super fucking quick. One of the fastest Megas, I think it's... I don't know if there's a Mega that's faster. I think it's got 150 speed. Uh... I'm just going to look up if it's the fastest Mega. It might be. I think it's got the same speed as Mega Alakazam. I think they're both 150. Mega Gengar might be faster. No, Mega, Mega Gengar is slower. Yeah. Uh, Mega Aerodactyl is the tied... God. M Mega Garchomp is famously slow. Mega Garchomp loses speed. Actually does. is why it's bad. Mega Garchomp is worse than regular Garchomp to use because it loses 10 speed, which is outrageous in my opinion. <clears throat> give it, um, give it Sand Rush. <clears throat> when, when, when Legend ZA come out, give Mega Garchomp Sand Rush. Doesn't need the extra power. The fucker's got 170 attack. Does not need extra power boost on the offense. Give it a speed boost. Seriously. Take something away from its defense. Hell, take 10 away from its attack and leave it on the same speed as regular Garchomp. It would be fine. 160 attack is enough. It's it's a tragedy. But yeah, Mega Aerodactyl is a really, really good Pokemon. I really like it. Tough Claws. Oh. I wish this moveset was a little better. That's one thing I do wish. I wish Mega Aerodactyl got... I wish Aerodactyl got a better moveset. Now, as I showed on the other day... Aerodactyl's got a good moveset. Yeah, you take away 10 speed, 10 attack from Mega Garchomp, or 10 defense, or 10 special defense. It It's good. It's got good bulk anyway. It's Garchomp. And give it back 10 speed. Take away, to, I don't know, take away 15 from its uh, special defense. Like, 10, 10 away from its uh, special defense, 5 away from its physical defense. Give that to speed to make it 107 base speed. You'd be using Mega Garchomp. Just saying. Or give it Sand Rush. Because then you'd use it in doubles. With Tyranitar, probably. <laughs> or anything with Sandstorm. Set up a Sandstorm. Sand Rush. 170 attack. Stab Earthquake. Oh, that's going to crunch through things. But we're getting off topic. We're talking about Mega Aerodactyl. Mega Aerodactyl sick. Uh, Pseudo Wudo. Okay. I'm not the biggest fan, personally, of Pseudo Wudo. I'm going to be honest. Um, I don't think it's an awful man, but uh, it's my least favorite rock. It might be. You know, this feels weird. That is a thing. That is a famous thing, actually. I genuinely think that Sudowoodo... Looking at this list, might be my least favorite rock type. I kind of have to put it in D tier, but I don't think it's a particularly bad one. I kind of dislike it. I don't know why. To be honest, I don't hate Pseudowoodo, but I dislike Pseudowoodo. But this is entirely a personal me one. I am not the biggest fan of Goofy Mons. In fishing A tier. I am not a Goofy Mons person myself. I will 100% say that. Or at least not most Goofy Mons. So I actually have a bit of dislike for this. I will 100% say if you think that Sudowoodo is a better, it needs to be in a better tier. Absolutely. I get it. Oh no, it's good Pokemon. It's very good to use. And no, I'm doing my tier list. Sudo can do some work. It's pretty good. Um... Brassius is one, Truly Wudo is pretty funny. I'm not a Goofy Mons person, but I get liking Pseudo Wudo. I put it that way. It is a, of the D-tier Pokemon, something's got to be in D-tier, is the main one. And Pseudo Wudo is probably my least favorite rock type, genuinely. But that's generally a high praise. 
it's not even comparable to the other D tier Pokemon in pretty much any other video. Will de definitely say this. Sudowodo, compared to a lot of other mons that have been in D that have been in D tier. Yeah, Sudowodo, you're the top end of the D tiers, genuinely. Shuckle, I quite like Shuckle. Shuckle's got the memes, I respect it. Um, it's not a me Pokemon, but it's for me. That's a goofy Pokemon. That's how you do a goofy Pokemon correctly. Is Shuckle. Because Shuckle's kinda goofy, kinda cool, weird design, little Play-Doh maker. I kinda vibe with it. I know a lot of people love Shuckle. Um, for me it's a B tier. I get putting it in A tier. I know a friend of mine who adores Shuckle. I know a friend who loves it. It's one of his favorite Pokemon. And I get it. For me, I like Shuckle. It's cool. Bottom A tier. I'd put it in a little bit below bottom of A tier. That's generally it. It's, it's a good B tier. This is a solid B tier mon, I'd say. Hey, they might give Shuckle an evolution. You never know. They might go Mega Shuckle. I honestly, if they go Mega Shuckle, this thing's going to S tier. <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> I I do like Shuckle, though. He's not one of my absolute... This is one of my Pokemon, but I get the Shuckle love. I absolutely understand the Shuckle love. It's a, it's a goofy mon done correctly. It's got a weird vibe. It's cool. I love that it's a contrary Cell Smash mon as well, which is hilarious. Oh, yeah, Eevee Light Shuckle would be disgusting, it's why, right? <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine the meta breaking over Eevee Light Shuckle? The most insta banned mon in Little Cup since they put in Doralanon. <laughs> what do you have? Effective like 500 defense. Now, Eevee Light, Eevee Light's 50% boost to both. Uh, I think it's got two. 50 defense so it'd be effective defense stat of 425 <laughs> yeah exactly it would be good it would be good which i'd be down but i think a mega evolution would suit it a bit better i think a mega evolution would be a very silly very fun one mag cargo one of the worst mons ever in terms of actual how good it is but I have a soft spot for it because I used to have a Pokemon card as a kid. I actually quite like the Volcanic. I like Volcanic vibes. It's a Lava Snail. It's got some vibes. Uh, you're a B tier for me. A, a solid B tier. I, I kind of like it. I like the Lava lava theme. Uh, not one of my absolute favorites. Wish I had a better shiny. That's a cheer thing I think of my cargo. I wish my cargo had the same kind of shiny that um, the baby form had. Can't remember the name. Slugma. I wish my cargo had the same kind of shiny as Slugma. Because Slugma has goes mercury silver with its shiny. And it looks sweet. Uh, but my cargo kind of doesn't get it. It's got like a purplish shiny. It's not a bad shiny. Yeah, you stop. Behave. Um, <laughs> it's fine. I don't care. Uh, but yeah, my cargo could be a lot better. If it had a better shiny, it might get a better tier. It's, it's fine. Corsola, I have a soft spot for Corsola. I don't know why. I think Corsola is incredibly cute. I think Corsola is really, 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 really cute. I don't do challenges for channel points. I've talked about this. I do challenges for money. Corsola is... Corsola is insane. Like, oh, no. Corsola is okay. Galarian Corsola is broken. But I like Corsola. I've actually wanted to use one of these. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I'm very excited if I get... When we eventually do more Monotype runs in Pokemon Mo. No, I don't do challenges for channel points. I do challenges for money. That's all it is. No, I am not a good person. How dare you accuse me of that? I'm a bastard. <laughs> I'm proud of it. Exactly. I only do stupid challenges for making me money or for charity or making somebody else money. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> exactly, see? My mother is not in the other room at the moment. She is out today. 
<laughs> oh, so she'd agree with me that I'm a bastard. I'm a piece of crap. <laughs> I'm not a nice person. Uh, I don't think of myself as a nice person. I never have. Uh, but yeah, I love Corsula. We got too real for a moment. We got real for a moment there. Yeah, pretty much. Hmm. They're over there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I love Corsula. I think Corsula is a very, very cute Pokemon. Probably a good A tier. I, I genuinely love it. I have it over um, Kabutops. I just think Corsula is insanely cute. Um, it's perfect little sphere. I really do want to get this, run this Pokemon in uh, Monotype Rock or Monotype Water for Johto in Pokemon. Genuinely, that's this is one of the Pokemon I want to use. I know it's not a great Pokemon, but it's very cute, and I kind of want to. I want to try it. Right, it's one of those Pokemon. So, hell yeah. Also, weirdly, in that run, if it in the Rock type run, that's the Surf Pokemon for Pokemon Mojo, which is a really weird thing to think. But okay, we know what we're getting next, right? We know exactly where this entire line is going. People know I adore Titar. Titar is one of my favorite Pokemon. I think I put the same way in rock in, in the ground type of things. The babies, very good A tiers. Titar, you're taking the top spot. Mega Titar, you're right behind. I love Tyranitar. Tyranitar is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Uh, my favorite non-dragon pseudo legendary. Oh, Titar are good. Hell yes. One thing I'm actually thinking of doing is putting as one of the uh, sub emotes. What one of the sub uh, alerts to be uh, Garchomp's cry? I'm actually thinking of that. Good night, Petrify the kids. You play Goku with Terry. Eh, I love that. <laughs> well, I had a body count in that. I, I had a body count in that monster encounter. I think I got. Uh, I think we found out in that monster encounter. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I got um, all but one of the character. The character deaths was caused by me. <laughs> Actually, all but two. All but two of the character deaths were caused by me in that encounter. Yeah. I am a loud individual. I can't put much louder voice on than that because one, I'll break my voice for the rest of the week, and two, it'll break my mic. <laughs> for reference, my microphone. If you are, if you think I'm a loud person, my microphone is on one percent. My microphone is regularly peaks and it is at one percent audio. Very specifically, I have a very very loud voice. <laughs> but yeah, people know I love Tita. I fucking adore Tita. Yeah, I, I have a filter to make sure I am quieter for the microphone, and it's on 1%. It is on the minimum I can physically get it that it will still put audio through. And I am still peaking the mic regularly. That's how loud I am. I have a booming voice. Exactly. I am not upping the volume on my microphone because um, this video will be unwatchable. But yeah. Uh, actually, I just realized Sudo Widow isn't my least favorite rock type. <laughs> yep. Because I hate Nose Pass. I don't like Nose Pass. This is the one rock type I really dislike. Never liked it. Very much disliked it. Why the fuck are people messaging me? And then she just sent a message, just, shut up! 
<laughs> in my chats because they were specifically pinging me, which is why I was coming through. Not the third person that should go away, but God, imagine a mega big and now speak about stash. Honestly, I want mega pro. If they make a mega pro pass, I just want it to be all hair with a tiny pair of eyes sticking out. I'm, I'm pretty much wet. I'm working. Shut the fuck up. Uh, yeah, but I don't like nose pass. I never have. Um, I have bad memories. I actually uh, I actually lost a uh, battle to this thing in my first ever. It still work. Fuck you. I get paid for this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I hate nose pass. I, I really do. I lost my original um, go at gym leader in Pokemon Emerald as a kid to a nose pass, and I've never forgiven it. I get paid. <laughs> exactly. I get paid. Uh, yes. So yeah, I don't like nose pass. Uh, Aaron, however, I love Aaron. People know I love Aaron. Larion, you're fine. Uh, I'll put you here. Uh, Agron is my boy. I love Agron. I remember. I, I've talked. I've talked so much. S A than S. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. I do think Larion is the worst design. Mega Agron. I love Mega Agron too. It's not on this list because this is the Rock type tier list though. But I do very much love uh, Mega Agron. I'd say Mega Agron for me is slightly behind the other two, though, in terms of design. I think I put it on the Steel type tier list, which is up on my YouTube. Uh, I love Mega Agron, how it works. Uh, I like Agron's design more, but I like how Mega Agron works more. Though you can get Rockhead Head Smash on Agron, which I do love. <laughs> I, I genuinely love Agron. I very, very much do. Agron is a... I'm a big fan. I always have been. It's such a cool Pokemon. I I will never forget the first time I got an Agron. In Pokemon Emerald, this was. I had no fucking idea what Larian turned into. I just thought, this looks like a Pokemon that will evolve. I had no expectations at all. Check the fuse website. I think I did. It was a while back. I don't remember anything I did on it, but I did think I do think I checked it. Which is pretty sick. Ow. Got a freaking spot in my beard. That's awful. Look at that. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, I can... I can check. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun, yeah. I was messing around with it when I was chatting with friends. I don't remember what I did, but I remember it being a thing. That are people. Yeah. Okay. Then. Lunatone. I like Lunatone a lot. Lunatone and Solrock. I vastly prefer Lunatone to Solrock. I will definitely say that. But. Solrock has a sick shiny. I don't think I've ever actually seen Lunatone shiny. What is Lunatone shiny? Solrock has a beautiful shiny. I'd never realized it was so good. Uh, it's got, it goes like the orange just changes to red on it, and it just looks gorgeous. I guess a blue eye. I kind of like it. It's a subtle one. I wish they changed. Ooh, what you got? What you got? I will do a rating while doing this one. Uh, but yeah, Lunatone, love the Pokemon. Absolutely fantastic. Very fun to use. Uh, levitating rock types. Always love. A uh, pretty fun psychic type to use as well. This this thing's generally fun to use. Uh, Soul Rock, I vastly dislike. I don't like it as much. But I'll put you down here. I think that's fair. Tapu Coco, nice. Iron Hand, nice. Meow Scarada, nice. Valiant, nice. Aerodactyl, hell yeah. He swims Zorowak, hell yeah. I know you love your Porygon. Dragalgi, base. Alolan Ninetales, based. Low Kicks, pretty cool. Milotic, one of my favorite water types. And Talonflame, very good one. This is Diancy, awesome Pokemon. Corviknight, 
Love Corvo Knight. Best regional bird. Medicham. Fuck you, Rel Medicham. I hate you. Uh, Rillaboom. It's great. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's very, very powerful. Mammoth Swine. Based. Skeledurge. Based. Rome Wash. Awesome. Aegis Last. Hell yeah. Okie dokie. Pretty cool. Crocodile. Hell yes. Uh, he's Swine Gudra. Fuck yeah. Hooper. Regular Hooper. Mega Medicham. Of course it is. I just fucking hate Medicham. I don't care if it's Mega. It's a Medicham. I hate it. This fighting in psychic type list. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna rip into Mega Champ. I despise that Pokemon. <laughs> Which, by the way, fighting might be in two weeks. Fight the fighting tier list might be the next one I do. Um, it's not next week because obviously I'm away on Monday. Uh, but the week after is probably fighting. Not promising that, but it's probably gonna be fighting, and uh, I'm going to tear into Mega Champ. It's somewhat usable because it gets pure power, which is one of the most broken abilities in Pokemon. Because it's just huge power with a different name. But I fucking hate Medicham. It's a shite Pokemon. Just because it has a really good ability doesn't make it um, godly beyond imagining. Freaking, um, what's his name? Proves it. Wonderguard bastard. Shininja. With one of those powerful abilities ever. It's still pretty bad. So, yeah. You know Annihilate is going to be an S. What are you talking about? <laughs> Annihilate's one of the coolest Gen 9 Pokemon. In Ubers, it's king. And in everything below U Ubers, it's unusable. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of the, that's the duality with Shininja. I don't like it. I don't like its dumb gimmick. It also might be a reason why I very regularly run a random crunch on a lot of Pokemon for no reason, which nobody expects the wild crunch. <laughs> uh, we actually banned that from the uh, what's it called league. Shininja is banned in our um, Gym Leader League uh, because we didn't want to fuck around with it. And also, Terrors are allowed in the league for a lot of players. So, yeah. It's, 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 it's gimmicky. I don't like it. And the same is for Medicham. It's, it's, it's gimmicky and I don't like it, essentially. Mega Marwile. That one, that one's a different story. Mega Marwile is very similar to it and I love Mega Marwile, but I hate. Medicham. Medicham is a disgustingly bad design. I hate it. Snow Pokemon on the side. Yeah. Terra Electric Air Balloon is the classic. I don't like it. So, yeah. There's always funny running into somebody who um, runs Shininja and I'm running Sandstorm, which I will love. Okay, Lilip. Lilip is a very cute Pokemon, uh, but it's there. Cradily, you know Cradily is getting some good spots. I love this thing. Storm drain the Pokemon. It's got either suction cups, which why I don't even know what suction cups does. The other one, I like him. I I like the fossil. I like really every fossil Pokemon to be honest. Um, but Cradily, oh Cradily is so good. Cradily is a great Pokemon. Now, Anorith, I like Anorith. I'm less a fan of Armaldo, weirdly. I like Anorith's design. It's an Anomalocaris, which is a really, really cool prehistoric animal. Like, one of the early Super Predator Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon? Really Super Predator animals is what it's based on. It's very cute. I love it. Uh, Armaldo itself, though, it's fine as a design. I'm not the biggest fan, though. I'll put, I'll put Lily above it. I don't hate it. It's it's got a vibe. Not a my vibe, though. Right. But it's another one of those. If you love it, I get it. Right. If you, lo if you love uh, Armaldo, I get it. You know, actually, I'm putting Shuckle above you. I prefer Shuckle to Armaldo. But yeah, I absolutely get if you love Armaldo. Not for me. Anorith, though? Anorith's pretty cool. Ah, oh. Relicanth. I have such a soft spot for Relicanth. A friend of mine is one of their favorite Pokemon, genuinely. Uh, unironically, they love Relicanth. It's actually on their non-gym leader team. It's on their trainer team for the gym leader tournament. They have Relicanth. Fuck knows how it's going to work. I have genuinely said to them, 
you are banking on one Pokemon when you fight my gym. Because your team consists currently, to my knowledge, of a... A Relicanth, a Mightyana, and a, and they're going to have a Flygon, hopefully, by the time they challenge me. If they don't have Flygon, they have one of its pre-evolutions, it's going to get destroyed. But, I, I tell you what, you are banking so much on Flygon beating my team. Because if you aren't, I don't think the rest of your team stands up to dragons. I've genuinely said that to them. Uh, at least not fully evolved dragons. So, he's banking, he's really, really banking on uh, be, being very good with his um, Flygon. I do think that if he picks the uh, the gym badge right, he can sweep with Flygon. Because he gets Flygon before I get Garchomp. And not the rest of my team really has a good matchup into Flygon. So, he's got a chance. Uh, but if they don't, and if they don't play it right, they're going to... Smack into the brick wall that is our Caledon is the big one. But yeah, I love Relicanth. Uh, Relicanth, probably about here. I think it's a very cool design. I love the Coelacanth design. Living fossil Pokemon as well. Also Rockhead. Slow as dirt is the big problem with it. Slow as dirt, and I think it gets Swift Swim, which is pretty funny. Jamie, I think you can make this thing work. <laughs> <clears throat> Regirock's getting S tier. Yeah, it is. It's a low S tier, but yeah, Regirock's S tier. I love Regirock. On, on, on. Regirock. I genuinely love Regirock. It is such a cool Pokemon. Um, I've had a soft. I've always had a soft spot for all the Regis. Um, yeah, I, I can't not, right? It's such a memorable Pokemon. Also, it works quite well. I think that's clear body as well, its ability, is a sleeper good ability. Uh, there's quite a few Pokemon I really, really like that have clear body. Uh, what's the big ones? Um, Tentacruel gets clear body. Metagross gets clear body. Uh, the original three Regis all get clear body. Uh, can't think of any offhand other ones. I know there are more that I use. I think Deoxys gets clear body right. I'm pretty sure. I'll Google it. I'm pretty sure Deoxys gets clear body. Uh, Tentacruel, uh, Metagross, the three original Regis, Clink, Clank, Clang, I hate them. Carbink, Deancey, oh yeah, Deancey I love. Dragapult, that's the one I was missing. Uh, and Garganeckle can get it. But Deoxys doesn't get it. I thought, I thought for some reason Deoxys Defense gets it, but I guess not. But yeah, I love Regirock. Kranos and Rampados, mm, you are good. You've got a legendary tier attack stat, genuinely. You, it takes a bit to work, but it can be good. Why this thing doesn't have Rockhead is beyond me, by the way. It's literally a Pachycephalosaurus. It needs Rockhead. Uh, you're going here and here. You are the original actual dinosaur. Of the fossil types, of the fossil Pokemon, which I do respect. However, you should get Rockhead. Uh, you are also strictly worse than a, another Pokemon that we'll get to later, who does the same job, but significantly better. Rampados is one of those pro Pokemon that has an incredibly good chance of one-shotting himself as well. You, you can't run him how he should be run, is the main problem, because how he should be run is give him Rockhead. You should give him Rockhead, give him a Choice Scarf, give him a Head Smash off to the races. He is so monumentally slow, has no defense whatsoever, and doesn't get Rockhead, he loses a lot of points for those things. But if he ever actually gets the chance to hit, he hits hard. Also pretty good on Trick Room. I know I say I hate Trick Room, and I do hate Trick Room. But for me, this guy is Trick Room, worst typing, Tarantrum, basically. It can learn Iron Head. It can learn Iron Head. It gets Sheer Force Iron Head, which is okay. Iron Head isn't a recoil move like Head Smash, though. Head Smash is recoil. That's why it needs Rockhead as an ability. Because uh, Rockhead, it removes recoil moves. Like, removes the recoil from recoil. So, uh, I know it gets double edge. It gets loads of moves that you'd expect it to get Rockhead. But it just doesn't get Rockhead for whatever reason. So, Ma main issue with Rampados. It needs Rockhead. If they make a Mega Rampados, um, I think they'll give it Rockhead. Genuinely. Rockhead and a bit more speed. That's all it really needs. Even if they make it, like, kind of fast. Like, 80 speed. 
Uh, with that attack stat, godly. I think it'd be quite good. But yeah. Not great. Or they could do it the other way. They could literally, like, minute speed and crank its other stats to make it a, like, dedicated Trick Room mod for the Mega. And I think that would be kind of cool. If they have a Mega of that, I think it would be neat. Shieldion and Bastiodon, I kind of like these. I'm going to be honest. I didn't give a, I don't think I gave them a crazy good review in Steel Types, but... They are a... This was the first Steel Type that... This was the first um, fossil dinosaur I used, because Aerodactyl's a Pteranodon. But Bastiodon's great. I'm happy they finally gave it body press. It was one of those ones, why did this thing not have body press to begin with? But, yeah. It's it's pretty good. You can definitely do some work with Shield on. I'm, I've had fun using it. It's a fun Pokemon. You only just noticed. I talked about it. Helix is cool. But the memes only get you so far. Bonsley, I love Bonsley. Admittedly, I mostly love Bonsley. Not for Bonsley. I love Bonsley because Smash Brothers. I have taken... I used to play Smash Brothers Brawl with a friend of mine. And I used to make them really, really mad. By picking them up and beating them over the head with it. Which used to get them, like, pinging off the map. Bonsley gets here purely out of his Smash Brothers cameo. Which is hilarious to use. <laughs> I like Bonsley. Yeah, respect, respectable tip. Rhyperia! You would know Rhyperia is getting a good fucking score. I love this thing. People know I love Rhyperia. I don't really need to talk much about it, do I? I've, I've said I love Rhydon, the entire Rhyhorn line. And Rhyperia, it's the pinnacle of Rhyhorn line. I do say I slight. I wish they kind of had more Rhydon design in Rhyperia. At least color scheme wise, it would have like gone quite well, like style wise. But I think Rhyperia is a really fucking cool Pokemon still. And Solid Rock is a sweet ability and I really like it. This thing has everything going for it apart from special defense as well. It's got a massive health pool, massive attack spec, massive physical defense. Double quad weaknesses, which is a problem. And they're usually special attacker types. Um, but with Solid Rock, if you give this thing an assault vest, uh, Solid Rock, you might actually survive. Barely. The water or rock move, the water or grass move that's incoming. Um, yeah, I like Rhyperia a lot. It's a very fun Pokemon to use. It also was an absolute all star and probably won me the Elite Four on the first, almost certainly won me the Elite Four on my first try on my monotype run of Pokemon. Pokemon. Uh, because my Rhyperia got a crit. On the Lapras. I don't do dares. You, I was going to play it. But you, you dared me, so I'm not allowed. Sorry, that's how it works. Shame if you hadn't have dared me, I'd have done it. Uh, promo pass. You're better than nose pass. That's all I can say. I don't like it. I It's another one of those, I get if people like it. Stop trying to offer me channel points to do things. No. I already told you. Money. <laughs> you got to eat. I've got to pay for my fried chicken. <laughs> yeah, I've already talked about, by the way, Arceus uh, in all of these videos. I'm also broke. <laughs> so, touche. Uh, yeah, I've already talked about Arceus and Silverly, uh, who is later on. This is another one of those lists that... You pay 400? Cool. Then pay 50 to me and we'll call it even. <laughs> then I'll do the dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Get, get yourself food. Make, make sure you eat. <laughs> All that, you know. The whole shtick. Yeah, I've talked about Arceus before on these videos. Um, if Arceus and Silverly show up, Arceus is a solid A tier. I don't like any of them ever better than the others, so show up here. And Silverly is going to be somewhere as well. I like both Pokemon. They're both very cool Pokemon. But I am not going to put them too crazy high because they're always A tier. They, uh, they as themselves, are just a, a, like an A tier Pokemon and a decent okay Pokemon. They're cool. They're cool. So I'll say. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, rock and roller. Uh, I can't remember the name of the middle one. And Gigalith. Boldor, that was it. Rock and roller, Boldor, Gigalith. Rock and roller. Love you. About here. Boldor. Again, about here. Gigalith. Yeah. I love Gigalith. Gigalith is awesome. One of the best Chinese in Pokemon history as well. Gigalith is such a fucking cool Pokemon. People know I love this thing. This was one of my OG Shinies in Poker Rogue as well, which I'm very happy I got to use this guy a lot. Um, I love Gigalith. Such a fun Pokemon. Also in the anime. I'll take your word for it. I haven't seen that part, any parts of the anime with Gigalith in it. But Gigalith is a really, really cool mon, and yeah, it's great. I love its design. I love how it works. It's another Sandstream Pokemon, so it's another, li like, Sandstream add to the list of Sandstream ones, which I like Sandstorm. Uh, I'll believe you. That makes sense. But yeah, Gigalith is just sick. It's just a sick design. I love it. Dwebble and Crustle. You are fine. I wouldn't really call you crazy big fan. I'd be a crazy big fan of either. I don't really use them, to be fair. But they're fine. I'm not a huge fan. I don't dislike them either, though. So that's that's what I'll give them a solid C. They're fine. They are fine Pokemon. You're getting Chelsea Dagger. It's always good. It's just fine Pokemon. Tatuga and Caracosta. These are also really, really cool Pokemon. Tatuga, I think I'll put you here, but Caracosta, you're getting up here. I like Archelons, which is what this is based on. They made the most jacked for, like, one of the most peaceful animals probably in the history. Um, like, it's a giant sea turtle. Uh, I don't know. They're never, I, I love them a lot. I've never particularly used it that much. But it's got cool abilities. Uh, everything about it says I should love it. And I kind of like it. I love its design. I've not really used it much to actually battle with. I know it's not crazy, but I know it's not bad either. So, yeah. Archaea, the Archaeopteryx Pokemon. I can never remember this thing's name. You're cool. I can't not give you a good score. I love it. It's cool. The Fetus is such a cool idea. Uh, very fast. Hits obscenely hard. It's just great. It's It's got like the slacking thing going for it where it's really powerful, but its ability sucks. Uh, give it a good ability in randomizers or just have it be fine. This thing can do work. This thing can definitely do work. So, yeah. Terrakion! This is the first of the Swords of Justice we've gotten to, I believe. Actually, no, we got to Kabalion and Steel, I believe, actually. Uh, Terrakion is my favourite of the Swords of Justice. I think the Swords of Justice are mid all round, but this is my favourite. Uh, Terrakion is pretty based. Um... Also, of the Musketeers, it is based on Porthos, I believe, who is my favourite of the three Musketeers. So, uh, where are you getting, Terrakion? You are cool. I'll put you about behind, um, yeah, no, Archaeopteryx. I'd say that's fair. I very much like Terrakion. Terrakion is cool. I've not used it too much. I know it's good. But I got weirdly, it got, like, nuked in, um, competitive, didn't it? Like, this thing's actually quite low and competitive for some reason. I think it's a... Is it... I think it briefly hit PU or something obscene like that, and then it got banned. It's trash. Hit PU. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure it hit PU. It's like, it's, it's a powerful Pokemon. Weird, I guess, but... Hey, it's cool. And hey, let's all agree. Better than Verizion. Verizion's terrible. It's not a great type combo. To be honest, I like the type combo. Um, it's a very offensive typing is its main issue. And it's not super fast, I don't believe, right? Yeah. Yeah, there, there are better other options. There are other, there are other options that are just better. So... But it is cool. I do like Terrakion. Of the Swords of Justice, all of them, it's my favourite. So, I'll put it that. 
Uh, Bernacle and Barbarical. Um, don't really like the design too much, but they've got good abilities. So you'll get another C tier. Eh. That's really my main thought for it, honestly. Very usable. Yeah, very usable. Definitely can go hard. I'm just not a huge fan of it. But it is fine. Great abilities. Love Tough Claws, obviously. Uh, I think it's Tough Claws, Shell, Armor, and I never remember the other ability. And it's good, though. Is it Sniper? I think Sniper might be the last ability on it. Got a shiny on Rogue? Yeah, I've also got a shiny one on Rogue. I think I've got two shinies of it, actually. Oh, two level one shinies, I'm pretty sure, of that thing. Okay, I mean, do we need to? Do we need any questions here? Sorry, Agron, you've been outdone. This was the one that people would find probably interesting. Genuinely, Tyranitar and Tarantrum. Perfectly even for me. I could not tell you which of these is my favorite. Genuinely. I, if, if I was put at gunpoint, I don't know which one I could tell you was my favorite of the two. I fucking love both of them. I adore both of these. Tarantrum is my favorite fossil by far, and it's not close. I love this thing so fucking much. And I adore Titar as well. And they work well together in a team. Head smash Tarantrum, bam, bam, bam. Uh, Tarantrum is on any team I can get get a chance to get it on. Tita is on less of my teams because it's one it's, if on the team that it's that I ever put it on, which is one of my favorite teams to run sand. It's one of the core pieces of the team, if not the core piece. So it was my second pick in the draft league in my original competitive Pokemon, and it did so much work. I love both of these Pokemon, and whoever the fuck is best to be, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. But yeah, I fucking love Tarantrum and I fucking love Tyranitar. They are both, they are two of my top 10 Pokemon, easily. And I couldn't tell you which one's better. Honestly. I love them both. And Tyrant, I love Tyrant. Tyrant's so cute. Chompa, 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 Chompa. Yeah. Auroras and Amora. I will 100% say, these Pokemon are shit. They are not good in any way. They are really bad Pokemon. But it's little foot, and I can't help it. I love these things. Outside, if it wasn't for Tarantrum, this would be an easy pick. Love the designs. Love the stats as well. But Rock Ice is, a, is one of the worst types in Pokemon. My god. I like the types. I like what they do as well. Like it's got refrigerate, which is a, I love the ability to refrigerate. This thing has a snow warning. If it's in a new, if it it comes out again, it's getting snow warning. So it buffs the defense of ice types. This thing might be usable like in future generations because of they changed ice. Uh, they changed hail to snow, and I love it. It's so bad. No, no, no! You would be surprised. Ice type got a massive buff in Gen 9. Gen 9 adding snow into the game and adding four of the best ice types ever made. Ice is actually quite good now. But, but is the very, very important point here. It's now one of the middling types. It doesn't make everything worse. Take example, Backscalibur. I mean, technically... <laughs> We Weavile is good. Ed offensive Pokemon with Ice are very, very good. Ice is an offensive type. It's like Rock. Ice and Rock work very similarly. They are terrible on the defense, very good on the offense. But people think... But people... It's the problem with them is they both are coded to be defensive, which is not what they're good at. And, uh, yeah. They make fast Ice types. Fast Ice types are terrifying. Every, nearly every time you get a fast Ice type... It's a really scary Pokemon. So, Ice is good, but, but is the big, big problem, as I said. Yeah, Weavile's great. Uh, Alola Ninetales is great. Ice and Fairy makes quite a good combo. Um, Ice and Dragon makes a good combo with Backscalibur, as well as Kyurem. Kyurem isn't the only Ice Dragon. 
There's a lot of good ice Pokemon, which ice actually is beneficial to the type combo. Because usually they punch straight through a dragon. A lot of the tougher dragons will survive an ice move from a non-stab ice Pokemon. That's the thing you've got to remember. Even Garchomp, quad weak to ice. You're throwing in an ice shard from something that's not stab. The Garchomp's living. Like, Garchomp, Garchomp's got bulk to it. So, yeah, be aware of that. Say, saying that ice is bad combined with everything isn't. Ice is really bad if you combine it with flying, steel, or rock. They are uh, flying, steel, rock, and bug. Those are the four worst types you can mix it with. Mix it with those types, you're getting a bad day. Mix it with the other types, you can make something work. Also, technically, Ice Dark is a really, really terrible typing. But Ice Dark is good because they're all really fast. Ice Grass has its advantages. It's also a bad type to put it with, but it's not as bad as the others. At least it's only quad weak to one type. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's my point, right? If they made a grass ice type that was really, really quick, I actually think it'd be quite good. Honestly, I do. Avalog, it's sweet and Avalog. I love your design, but you're so bad. Um, B tier. I like B tier, I'll say. But it's cool. It's really cool. It's a giant, like, glacier. I love it. But it's so shit. Carbink, I like Carbink. Carbink, you're getting in here. Uh, yeah, actually, that. I, I genuinely love Carbink. Carbink is sleeping good. Uh, it's the mini Diancy, is what I always call it. Because there's Carbink, Diancy, Mega Diancy. So I will call it quite often Carbink, mini Diancy, then there's Diancy, then there's Mega Diancy. Uh, but yeah, Carbink is pretty cool. Not amazing. It's better than people think, but it's not amazing. Uh, Diancy, however, Diancy is great. Uh, I think I'll put you here. And Mega Diancy. Mega Diancy's going in S tier. I actually kind of love Mega Diancy. Mega Diancy's sick. Love its design. The only Gen 6 Mega Pokemon. I I love it. Genuinely love it. Such a fun Pokemon. Again, offensive rock type. Kind of goated. Not going to lie. And now that... Oh, yeah. Rock Dark is also technically one of the worst type combos, but the only one in existence is Taranta. So hard to really gauge that at the moment. That is another type. But Titar is great. So as soon as they make another Rock Dark type, it's going to one of the most trash Pokemon ever because Titar is the benchmark. So Titar is great. The type makes its opposite being broken. Any other Dark Rock type they come out with is going to be bad because they have to make it like box art legendary good to make it okay <laughs> okay 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 okay, okay. <laughs> mokoko and the adult forms of mokoko you know that we you know where they're going they are some of my favorite little doggos yeah rockruff is one of the cutest pokemon ever uh midday lichen rock is a is a s tier by the way Midnight Lycanroc, for pure design alone, S tier. Though it's a lot worse. I will say, Midnight Form Lycanroc sucks. It's such a terrible Pokemon. It's awful. It's not got good defense. The only good thing it's got is no guard. Unfortunately, it's too slow to make use of no guard. Making it shite. And it's not got the durability to survive anything. Uh... A thousand? It shouldn't have it. Every, when my the Eternatus I fought and run a thousand has um, has the standard Eternatus move set nothing crazy. So uh, yeah, that might be part of the new update. That J might be part of the update. 
Because they did just do a huge update. So they might be giving the round of thousands the full set, which is Dynamax Cannon, uh, Flamethrower. I think it's still got Sludge Bomb. Yeah, I don't know. See what you can do. Uh, but here's the GOAT. Here's the best. The best one by far. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Just get resisted, 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 resisted. Get immunities. Basically, what you have to do is run out of flamethrowers. That's the big part that you've got to do. Run it out of flamethrower. If you can run it out of flamethrower, Tinker Tinker can just take it. Uh, but you got to run out of flamethrowers. I fucking adore Dusk Form Lycanroc, by the way. Dusk Form Lycanroc is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Primordial Sea. Yeah, do, just do, keep doing that. Run it out of flamethrowers. Just run it out of flamethrowers. You'll be fine. Switch between Primal Kyogre and uh, Tinkerton and you'll be fine. Because Tinkerton tanks either of the other moves that Primal can do. Keep trying. Just do it. Just do it! Uh, yeah. But yeah, Dusk, Dusk Lycanroc is one of my favorites. I love this thing so much. It's my favorite Lycanroc form by far. I have used it a lot. It was in my original competitive draft league team. My nuclear weapon and it's Mokoko. I love this thing. It's so cute. This would be one of the Pokemon. If I had to like bring Pokemon to real life, this would be one of the ones I wanted. I love Lycanroc so, so much. As you can see, by the way, it's above Hisui and Arcanine, which I absolutely adore. That That's telling how much I like this Pokemon, because it's above Hisui and Arcanine. Yeah, I love this thing. Silverly, I, I think I already mentioned, you, you're, you're fine. You get, get, get here. I don't care. Minio, we aren't doing all the flavors of Minio like we did last uh, two weeks ago with flying types. We're just getting Minio. You know my view on Minio forms. Uh, Minio's fine. Uh, I'll put you in here. It's fine. Kind of cool. Uh, I believe you're Nihilego, right? You are an interesting one. I haven't done poison types yet. I don't know. Really, I've not used you much. I know you're pretty good. You died at Earthquake. Uh, but I'll put you in a tier. I kind of like your design. I really like the design of it fused with, uh, what's her name? Luce, uh, Luce? Is it Luce me? Lily's mob in Sun and Moon. Original Sun and Moon. Uh, it's pretty cool. So, yeah. Stack Attacker. I like Stack Attacker. Stack Attacker is a cool design for me. I'll put you up here. I like it. I like, I like this a lot. All the little ones are actually their own thing and they just fuse together. It's kind of like shoal form, wishy-washy. I like it. Dreadno, Dreadno. I kind of like the murder turtle, honestly. Uh, about there. And then Gigantamax, so, uh, what's its name? Gamera? Gamera's pretty cool. Uh, Godzilla is better, but Gamera's cool. So, yeah. I don't have crazy opinions on Dreadno. Dreadno's fine. Um, it's cool. I, can't, I quite like it. So, yeah. Uh,. Roly-Coly, I believe, is this thing's name, which I have a soft spot for, but not a hugely soft spot for it, so. I'll put you back here. Hot Wheels, the car call, you're pretty fun. Um, yeah, considering my fam some of my family members, I'm obliged to put you up. I had a lot of coal miners in my family back in, back in the mists of time. Uh, I used to learn a lot about coal mines uh, growing up and things like that, so. Colossal? I have always kind of vibed with Colossal, not gonna lie. So you're getting there. And the big G-Max mode? You're getting around here. I think G-Max Colossal goes hard. It's a good design. It's a very good design. Not really much I can say on it. It's cool. It's cool. Steam, it's also the Steam, Steam Engine ability is pretty fun. It's going to take a water move at some point. So you give it steam engine, so it takes the water move and just gets super fast, which is kind of fun. Cool idea, really like it. 
props. Stone Journey. Stone Journey, I actually have, is sleeper good. It's got, it's way faster. Literally, this thing has nuked its special defense, so it gets all of the stats are good. This thing is actually pretty beastly. Uh, I will put you in B tier, but high B tier, because I'm not a huge fan of its design, but the concept of how it works is pretty sick. So. Cleavo, my least favorite of the Scyther forms, I will say. But Cleavo is still very based, so Cleavo... Get yourself to A tier. You're not Sizzle, you're not Scyther, but Cleavor is cool. I have not done Poison yet, because we haven't put what, my favourite Poison blob on the list yet. No, wait, we're probably doing Fighting next, we're probably doing Poison after that. Poison or Ghost after Fighting. To be honest, if I, by the time we get to it, because it's two weeks away, the next tier list, um... I might change my mind. We might be doing... The three that we're going to be doing in the next ones, whatever the order, are going to be Fighting, Poison, and Ghost. Don't know the order yet, but it's going to be one of those three. So, just wait. I do like Poison types. So, there's going to be some good ones on the list. Okay, now we get to Gen 9. Now, Gen 9's got some sick, sick rock types. First, we get to Nackley. Which, personally, I think Nackley is insanely cute. So, Nackley, you're getting in here, I'd say. I think it's very, very cute. Low A, I put it in high A, but yeah. I, I think that is a solid spot for it. A, it's definitely an A tier Pokemon. Uh, Minecraft, Knackle Stack. Low S? I was going to put it very high A. I, think, I don't think I like it enough to make it S tier. But I do like it. Also, this thing goes so dirty. With um, Eviolite. This thing is dirty with Eviolite. Garganical, though, you are getting into S tier. In fact, you know what? I'm going to put. I'm going to switch these two around. Yeah, Gar Eviolite, Knuckle Stack is mean. But Garganical, you're getting up in S tier. This thing is filth to use, by the way. But it's really fun to use as well. <laughs> I like this Pokemon, it's very broken. Not another Mega Deancey? No. Not another Mega Deancey. But. Salt Cure. Purifying Salt. This thing just sits. Genuinely, I think this thing will be way less filth as soon as they remove Terra, though. When, when Terra's not a thing anymore, which I don't care how much a couple of my friends who go, Oh, no, Terra's good for competitive. It changes things up a lot. It's great. No, fuck off. Terra's not a gr Terra is cool as a concept. Get the fuck out of my game. Uh... Hey, Nixie. We're towards the end of our tier list. <laughs> Looking forward to LARP of the weekend? You are making... Actually, are you, you are making it to LARP, aren't you? Yeah, rock types. We love this type. Hell yeah. It's gonna be good. But yeah, Garganical. I love this thing. As soon as Terra is out of the game, this thing will be balanced. The problem with it at the moment is it's that makes it kind of broken. Is the, um, is Terra. Terra makes this thing kind of busted because it gives you the option to switch to ghost type. And ghost type with this thing almost has no weaknesses. <laughs> uh, because purifying salt basically makes ghost type neutral on it. Even when it's in ghost Terra. This thing is disgustingly good. Uh, very good. <laughs> okay, now can I just make a comment about Cloth? Why the fuck does Cloth moo? Can anybody comfortably explain to me why Cloth, the giant rock crab, moves? Listen to its cry. In fact, you know what? I'll find I'll find its cry. Okay. I believe it's this one. Don't give me an ad. Yeah. Do you want to hear that again? It's a crab! Why does it moo? The cow of the sea. Apparently... 
I do love cloth though. I actually been complimented on Showdown because I ran a really weird cloth set. I ran uh what I run. Temper Flare, Crab Hammer, Stone Edge, and I remember the other move, but it was some other missable move. I, I think I will agree high B tier on that one. I think I think I'm in agreement of a high B tier. Uh do I like you more than Stone Journey? Probably I like your design more. Cloth's fun. Cloth is a very fun one to run in low tier Pokemon. It's silly, it's fun. Show you a rogue, only crabs, for oh, only bunnies. The problem is the only rat, the only rabbit I really like for Pokemon is Lopunny. I'm not a huge fan of Diggersby and a bunch of the others like that, or a Zumarill, as good as they are. No, I'm not. This is a this is a joke. This is a thing. No, we are not doing Pokemon. We we are we are playing tier list, and then I'm going to go and eat. See, I this is where we this is where we agree. I hate as I don't like Diggersby. I don't like Diggersby. How dare you? No. Just so you know, Princess, Ivy Princess, I have a one second ban on lock for you. <laughs> a one second timeout. Just in case. Don't think I won't. <laughs> but yeah. Nah. Exactly. Ah, you did it. You did the highlight. One second timeout. But delete any messages, Jesus. But yeah, uh, what were we, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, Glimit. I really like Glimit. Now I will say the champion, the champion Gita does not understand how to use this Pokemon. Glimora is sick. It's a really good lead Pokemon. It literally is built as the lead Pokemon, right? You put this thing, you put a sash on it, give it Stealth Rock, and you're gonna hit in. Your opponent's gonna hit into it, and then activate the Toxic Spikes, right? <laughs> but yeah, I love Glamora. Glamora is such a cool... I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's like a rock flower, but it's got a sick design. So I, I like Glamora's design a lot more than Glimmer. Gita's rematch team, she knows how to do it. Gita's rematch team is actually pretty based. <laughs> True that. Yeah, Gita's rematch team is pretty sick. Because she uses her King Gambit last and she opens with Glamora. Which is how she should fucking do it in the actual main game. My why doesn't you? Gita, you're supposed to be the champion. No. Gita, you're a champion. Do it. You, you say you're not holding back. You are holding back, you lying bitch. <laughs> but yeah. Uh Worst, worst champion. Nimona's a better champion. Nimona's a way better champion, actually. Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm not gonna hold back fighting you. It's like, no, you are. You clearly are. Your actual no hold at fight holding back team is your at your um your rematch team, which is actually pretty good. Like your rematch team is actually pretty solid. You get rid of the fucking Go Go and the Veluza. Why she has both of those on her team? Never know. They're not champion Pokemon, right? So, yeah. It's all bizarre to me. I'm not here to talk about um, how much Gita just confuses me fundamentally in Pokemon. Where I'm here to talk about Pokemon's equivalent of Mecha Godzilla. Now, I will say, I've talked about this before, Iron Thorns is a massive downgrade from Tyranitar. You know it. <sighs> 
Iron Thorns is a huge downgrade from Tyranitar. However, one of the best future Paradox Pokemon for me. Power-wise, yeah, it's not great. But really, really cool Pokemon. Uh, great shiny. One of the very, very few uh, Pokemon from the future Pokemon list. That is good. I'm going to put it higher than that. Because it's got a significantly cool shiny. One of the few. Because its actual shiny is based on Kiryu. The, my favorite of the Mechagodzillas. Uh, and I love Mechagodzilla. Right? It's massively below Tyranitar. But you are getting into S tier. Uh, probably just buying Garganical. But above uh, Midnight Lycanroc. I do like this Pokemon. It actually does some work. It's way worse than Tyranitar though. It just kind of is. It's just a lot worse than Tyranitar. But... It is an S tier Pokemon, even if it's low S tier. Still an S tier. Oh, pawn! I love this thing. Now, I will say Cornerstone Mask is my least favorite outside of regular Grass Mask for the Masks of Ogapon. But Ogapon is one of my favorite Pokemon. I love this little Goopa. She's so cute. The one of the favorite Pokemon ever. Gen 9 has some of the best Pokemon ever. Um, yeah. If it was Fire Ogapon, it'd be much. It'd be higher. High S. By, when I say high S, by the way, this top row is obscenely high in my tier list. Genuinely. I fucking love Ogapon. All the Ogapon is such a cute, such a charismatic and adorable thing. And I love it. And I love rock form Ogapon. Don't get me wrong. And Boulder is low B. I'm not putting it in low B. I kind of dig this Pokemon. Again, another one of the future Paradox Pokemon that actually goes kind of hard. Uh, I kind of vibe with it. Again, I don't really like the future Paradox Pokemon. I'm not a huge fan of the Swords of Justice. But... This is... You literally hate it, yeah. For me, I like it about as much as Terrakion. It's fine. So you're going next to Terrakion. Because I can't... I have a hard time deciding if I prefer it or di hate, dislike it to Terrakion. They're both fine. To me. They're both, I, I like them. They're both cool. But compared to each other, they're, they're both alright. Uh, I think both of their faces are really dumb. Uh, but other than that, I, think I quite like it. Exactly, right? No. Because we're doing the tier list. And this is going up to YouTube. This entire stream is going up to YouTube. So, I gotta do it properly. People come here for these. They don't come here for the uh, Pokemon battles. If you want to come for Pokemon battles, show up another day. No! <laughs> but yes, that is my rock type tier list. This was a lot of fun, honestly, to do. As I, I love rock types. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the rock type, but the rock Pokemon are oh, sick. All right. Get redeem some of the votes. Then pay me money. Money from this channel buys me emotes. Think of it that way. That's a shame. <laughs> Terrible tragedy. Guess you're not getting emotes then. I don't want to hear your excuses. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love Rock-type Pokemon. They are some of the coolest ever Pokemon. Pay me and kick it a friend. <laughs> hey, Nixie gets it. Nix is a subscriber. But yeah, I adore rock type Pokemon. These are very, very fun. Uh, obviously, some of my favorites ever. <laughs> some of my favorite Pokemon ever are in rock type. I absolutely adore. I say, Tyranitar, Tyrantrum, Agron, Dustlike and Rock, Ogapon. I love these Pokemon so much. See? It works. <laughs> But yeah, I love these Pokemon a lot. I'm... I can't, I can't help. I can't help it. I, I love all of these things. They're so cool. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. But yeah, these Pokemon are really fucking cool. I love rock types. They are some awesome ones. As I say, there's a lot of... There's a lot of losers and mid in rock type as well. Look at you, Golem. Uh, but there's a shit ton more winners than losers. Again, it's the type. The type isn't really the winner on this one. It's the Pokemon.
Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, we have a lot of really, really cool rock types. I'm looking forward to more cool rock type Pokemon coming out in Legend ZA and whatever the next Pokemon game is. You are always going to get some cool rock types. That's always my thought. I don't think there's been a single gen where there isn't at least one winner rock type. Right? Every single gen we've had something cool. The varying levels of cool, admittedly, but there's always something cool in rock type, which is a thing I've always been a fan of. Brock, Brock, you had the right idea. Rock types are just sick. And yeah, this is the, the tier list. Unfortunately, any of the recording ends the stream. Uh, probably not. I might, but probably not. I'm usually quite busy in February because I have about four family members and five very close friends all have their birthdays in February. Yeah. So, uh... <laughs> I, I get busy. I, I have a lot of busy shit early in the year. Honestly, outside of, like... I, I basically dedicate myself. I'm always going to the four main LT events in the year. If I can make extra sweet. But I usually can't. Also, I sleep terribly while camping. So. Yeah, we will see. There's a, there's a non-zero chance... But I can't. I can never guarantee a LARP event outside of the main four LT ones. Hey, thank you, it's big and Amazon, for the tier one scrub. Thank you very much, buddy. It's greatly appreciated. <laughs> this is how it goes. And yeah, for reference, by the way, there genuinely is a plan to get more emotes. But my emote person is currently moving house and is unable to do it. <laughs> uh, so they're, go they're not taking commissions for a while. That is genuinely the reason, because I have actually been on the docket to get some more emotes done. They are genuinely moving house. In fact, I'm helping them move house at some point soon. So... <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. It pops up with subscriber. Genuinely might, actually. That might that might be a thing to consider for emotes. But, yeah. We'll see. We'll, we'll chat about it. Not right now, because I'm fucking hungry, honestly. So, yes. This has been the stream. Just also, look. Shiny, look. Little picture of the Atelus. <laughs> I am starving. For food. Um, I believe I've got some fried chicken to make. Mm. Homemade fried chicken, by the way. Japanese style. I'm really good at it. Yeah. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the show. Have a fantastic evening. Everyone who keep playing video games. Keep awesome. You guys are the best for Twitch. I'll be back on tomorrow. It will be literally Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'll be doing normal time streams. <clears throat> make this a shiny four episode. God, that would be fun. To be honest, I'm, I am debating doing, debating doing some, like, big tier list when I'm done with all these ones. I'm debating actually doing some big ones. But, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I gotta go. Uh, normal streams uh, until Thursday. Then Monday, Friday doesn't have a stream because Altera is still off and uh, for the summer. And then Monday is off because I'm in a field with these two, actually. <laughs> so, yeah. Enjoy yourselves. Have a fantastic time. Good night. See ya.